years old, tearing it out like unbelievable. Like virtuoso guitar player at 14 years old. I ended up hanging out with him. His name's Jake Andrews. We totally, totally hit it off after the show. A great time, whatever. Ten years later, I'm talking to this woman at an event like this. She's his manager. Turns out he's a raw foodist. I was like, whoa. You never know, right? You can never know. Never know who you're talking to. Let's get on to goji berries. When the Europeans decided they were going to classify all the Chinese pharmacopoeia, the Chinese herbs, they went over there, they went to the Dallas, and they said, okay, we're here to like kind of categorize all your stuff. Where do we start? And they said, well, you know, we're going to start you with this. And, and the Europeans were like, well, why this? And they said, well, this is the plant that teaches you about all the other ones. And so the Europeans named the genus Lyceum. You know that word? L-Y-C-E-U-M or I-U-M. What does that word mean? School. School. Who coined it? Greeks. Greeks. It's Plato. But we, we get that word from Plato. It means school of learning. And the goji berry, this is the DNA thing again. Right? This is different than dirt. This is different from the night will. <laughs> right? This has got it going on. There's stuff in here that has got it's information. This is this basically I was talking to a guy over at um, in uh, in Quebec who's an exotic temperate tree guy. You know, I try to hunt these guys down because I want to get all the exotic stuff in my house. And uh, and, he, and this is how he categorizes the goji berry. It's indestructible. Once you get them going, they're indestructible. Right here in Ontario, Central Ontario, no problem, they're indestructible. Once they get going, it's over. They will make it anywhere. Now that tells you a lot about the energy of this plant. Another one, remember mulberry. Mulberry, indestructible. You get mulberries going, and it's going, it will grow in the harshest desert. I've seen it measured on temperature 125 degrees Fahrenheit mulberry tree out in the desert by itself. No protection there. Boom, with its full leaves out. And I've seen that same exact mulberry tree growing in central Ontario. That's, and goji berry can do the same exact thing. The information that's in there. Nutrient-wise, it's a complete protein source. I know that. I've had it tested three times by three separate labs. It is actually a complete protein source. It contains one of the highest antioxidant concentrations of any food in the world. It contains two compounds in it that flip on human growth hormones. The only food ever discovered that turns on human growth hormones. You know what this thing about human growth hormone? Like with age, growth hormone goes down, right, generally. And so therefore, we really want to stay younger. What do we need to do? Get it going up. We want that going up. Goji berries have traditionally been associated with long life in Tibet, China, and Mongolia and they were actually present in America, in the American ecosystem, and Canadian ecosystem in the western deserts, and they are still there. They are still there. I have been out in the Arizona desert, and there are a million goji berry bushes, and not one person there picking them. Not one. It, it, whoa! Yeah, they're there. There's um, San Carlos Native American Indian Reservation. They're there. Millions of them. Wherever you see the iconic saguaro cactus, there, right with it, is the goji berry. Phoenix, Tucson, loaded with goji berries. Can, can you believe this? Right? This food right here, for me, I'm actually, I'm an agent of this thing. I've delivered more goji berries into people's hearts and minds than anybody in the world. And the reason why I do that is because this plant is your new garden plant. This plant is not, when you get a bag of goji berries like this, you don't just eat them all. Because some of these contain, actually all these contain enough seeds to start a whole orchard of goji berries. And if you start sprouting these right here, you can have your own goji berries growing in your backyard. Start them inside, get them going. If you live like in a, in a suburb, it's a little easier because you don't have deer coming and eating them. You know, you don't have groundhog coming and eating them. You don't have raccoons, you know, well, you have raccoons, but. It's a, little, it's a little easier. Go, it'll grow, yeah. Goji bear can survive the winter here easily. That, that's not the issue. It's more of the predators that is more of an issue. Oh, a squirrel day. The whole plant, Chinese medicine, the whole plant is medicinal. People ask me what a goji berry bush looks like. 
That's the actual picture that I took. I like Photoshop, but I don't know how to use it. That's not Photoshop. That's the actual picture that I took it. It's like jewels. It's jewels. And this plant right here is completely edible. You can eat the bark, you can eat the leaves, you can eat the root, you can eat the flower, you can eat the goji berry itself. And so traditional Chinese immortality tonic is actually all of the pieces of the goji berry made into a tea and consumed. All the pieces. That's a piece. Every time I look at this picture, I say, like, God, that's a big glow. That's how big they can get. That's about six feet tall, right? About two meters right there. From there to there. The, I know this one is about four of these in this stand next to Eden Hot Springs. That this, this goji berry is planted by Native Americans. And my guess is from observing goji berries in that desert over 10 years and how quickly they grow, that this tree, this bush right here is about 300 years old. That's my guess. It's so old and ancient, it's ridiculous. That how it, you know, like, for a goji berry to get like that and to have about 20 of those coming out of the ground, which this one has, because goji berries kind of send out things like that all closely next to each other. It, 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 the, the length of time that that takes is incomprehensible. I've barely seen, I mean, I've been observing goji berries and taking pictures of them every year for 10 years, same plant. They barely grow at all. It's like, how long does it take to get there? My guess is 300 years. It could be a lot older than that. There's another good look. I compare this picture a lot to the Tibetan goji berry. Um, there's a great image that Ron Teagarden put up of the Tibetan goji berry. It looks almost identical to this. And if you look at them side by side, you actually can't tell the difference. It's exactly the same plant. This is goji berry grown in Ontario. So you can see it has the pointy leaves, right? This is what this one's hilarious. Guess where this is? Best goji bear I've ever had in my life. Guess where it was? At the right at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. In that dust. You know, the seven layers of the earth crust crushed to a powder. That dust, the goji bear is coming out of that, the best in the world. And so this was in, in down there. This right here is the goji berry, and this is a wild goji berry plant growing outside of Cusco, Peru. There, there too. There, there too. That's another one. Whoa! All these years, all this time, goji berries have been all across the Americas and all across Asia. Kind of fun. Now let's get into this. Okay, we're talking about constructing medicinal systems for ourselves that both food, calories, nutrients, and medicine. When we take, like traditional Chinese medicine does, the goji berry, which teaches us about every, all the other ones, and we take the goji berry and we mix it with anything, like Chinese medicine teaches us, you amplify the effects of both. So for example, we're now going to get into mycology and, and what's going on in the mushroom world. God, it's been 10 minutes. Can you guys hang in there 10 more minutes? Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. All right. 